Uh, anyway, we are going to try to make this all fit. So we're going to do telescope. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of lay things out and see what, what's going to work or not. Um, so we're going to do this. And then we need to fit the orbital data collection. So that's in stations. Orbital data collection. It's also a big one. It's not quite as big as the telescope. But we can't put it here. We can maybe put it up here. Like in, in just one room. Like that. And then... I mean, I guess we could... Maybe we just do plastic ladder up to here. And then let's cancel the constructing those tiles. What if we... Uh, you got any plans for channel points? Uh, no, not yet. Not Honestly, I mean, I set up some redemption things, but in terms of like, um, like giving the, like a different icon or a name and those sorts of things, I, I keep on looking at that and thinking of like, oh, well, what am I going to do with this? Um, I think it's more of a, I want to see kind of like, it's definitely going to be, <laughs> time out, see? Um, oh yeah, you haven't bothered with icons? Um, yeah, I guess you haven't. Or, so you're not talking about the icons. You're talking about like redemptions? Because I did have some stuff. <laughs> I do have a moderator, but they're not around, so. Uh, and I can't be bothered to do that. Mostly all I do <laughs> is, um,. Ban bots that come in and spam stuff. So, what I do need here is I need a mess table uh, and a water cooler. That's kind of the minimum. There's Streamlabs spamming the chat. And we need a door. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, we can make the room of speaking of bots. <laughs> speaking of bots. Go on. Or do you just mean Streamlabs? I do eventually, like the software that I've been coding on, on stream, mostly on Sundays, um, is right now focused on like the media stuff, but I do eventually want to like integrate a chatbot and um, like integrate um, Twitch chat and like, to absorb things, but like just like in-house all of it uh, into this this software. But that's gonna be like at the at the rate things are going, that's gonna be I don't know a year before I get there. Yes, yes. Uh, I will have one single streaming solution. Yeah, but uh, it might take some time. So another thing I need here is we need to put a, a hand sanitizer right here so that the dupes will wash their hands after they use the toilet at least they'll sanitize their hands we don't have really I don't think we have room to set up a whole um, thingamajig uh, so what else are we missing here uh, available for I mean that's a whole other thing right because then if I'm gonna make it available for all especially the capabilities it has it's gonna cost money to, like to operate it's not gonna be something that's gonna be like some just front end thing that it's just storage cost. Like I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna be using uh, OpenAI's APIs, it's gonna cost tokens, it's gonna cost real hosting, uh, especially when it's not just running locally where I have like video from streams, then we're talking about, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work. Like it's really easy when it's running locally just for me, but to make something that it's like, generally useful is like a whole nother level um, and it's gonna potentially be expensive to run which means that I have to take money which is a whole other thing I have to I have to make a business if I do that which I'm not against doing been there done that but it's it's just a whole thing right um, 
So I do need storage bins, and I need a refrigerator. What else do I need in here? Uh, we need a bed. Gotta have a bed. I ideally want to make a comfy bed. Uh, also, we need the rocket control. So we can't put this here. So this is the problem, is that um, there's not really room. Hmm. I could... Does this count as an industrial... It's not even... Oh, there it is. Interior hatch. Uh, properties... This is not industrial? So, potentially, I could put the bed... Could I just put the bed... Well, I can't put it there because the vent's there right now, but I can move the vent. If I did that... Right, so that would be there. Then I would need to put a door here and tiles here. At which point, there's no point of having these tiles here. I can just move everything down. Uh, or not, doesn't matter. Or just have multiple doors. And then... Uh, wait, what? how was that laid out? Okay, yeah, door here and those ladders could be there. So, like, all of the space would be used. But that could be fine. Uh, and then what else are we missing? So we have the telescope... Oh, yeah, we need the... Um, rocket control station, which could go right there. How is this so much easier? What am I missing? Um, well, storage. But I think we could just put that right here. Um, I'm gonna... Mm, I can remove the high-pressure gas vent once we finish filling this with oxygen. Uh, max pressure and then I could put the bed here I think and so then we have the bed we have the rocket control station you're gonna struggle tomorrow how do you mean what time is it there for you I mean it's eight for me so 3 a.m. isn't it Have you, have you considered going to sleep? Four. Okay, well, it's off by one. It's a, a common phenomena for uh, software engineers. So yeah, 4 a.m., have you considered going to sleep? So. Um, maybe this is fine, right? So we have mess table. We could even put a, uh, a potted plant. Got a flower pot in here. Put the bed here. We had to work, so this would be a bedroom. We even put like a painting here. We have room for that. We can make it a, a fancy bedroom. We got the telescope. We got the uh, orbital data collection lab. It's got floor under it, so it's actually functional. Uh, this might actually work. Let's unpause and let let the dupes do their thing. We got ladders to get up there. Uh, dupes will be able to climb up this. We got a door here to make this an actual proper room. Um, hand sanitizer, wall toilet. Every time my eye catches on this little thing here where it says zero calories, so it, it freaks me out just for a split second until I realize <laughs> soon, okay, good, that, um, of course, that's the inside of the rocket. There's no, fo no, the, no food in there. All right, we're still waiting delivery of that steel. Do we actually have steel? We do, right? Uh, we got uh, 1,500 kilograms, so a little bit. Hopefully, it'll get there. 
Um, are we not making suits? No, we have a bunch of suits here. Can we deliver? Is that what it is? We're, we're not delivering suits here? A goth... A gothita appears. Seems like a weird name for a Pokemon. It's not really a... TH sound in Japanese, I think. Maybe uh, I got... Hita? Well, the whole petroleum business is done, as it is. Um, I think really the only thing we're, we're kind of concerned about now is getting the rocket up so we can continue research. Gotta go? All right, well, thanks for hanging out, Foxy. Hey, Hugmatics, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. How was your stream? How was Lithuania? I was looking at your emote, Hogmatics, because it it looks very different at a at a small scale. <laughs> but when I zoom in on it, I can actually see that it's like a face. It looks kind of more of a side profile of like something. <laughs> All right, what's this? No, oh, it's fine. All right, we're finally building the uh, oxidizer tank. I had to sacrifice our ability to carry cargo, external cargo here. Unreachable storage. Uh, so we can accept fertilizer for oxidizer. It got Mega Bay. We uh, go from Finland to the Caucasus Mountains now. Okay. Did you eat Georgia then? Or wait. Which part of. The, where are the Caucasus? Geography? <laughs> Georgia's almost your vassal. Alright. Have you, um, have you ever done a World Conquest in uh, E4 Hogmatics? If not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise it. It's really tedious, but it's kind of curious. Alright, what's going on inside of the rocket? Alright, we're doing things. Um, you've never think that it looks like it takes a long time and isn't much fun. Yeah, it... So when the Austria patch came out, and they really buffed um, Austria and the HRE and that, those mechanics, I did a world world conquest where you basically turn all the world into um, HRE vassals after you've um, revoked the privilegia, and then uh, that was still really tedious, but it was a lot less tedious than previous attempts that I had made trying to like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not have the Vassal Swarm and all that stuff. Alright. Well. Uh, what am I storing here? Plastic? Plastic. I'm getting a little bit better at this keyboard. Do you, uh, do you think you'll be playing more of that, Hugmax? Is um, is EU4 gonna be a common thing on your channel? I kind of miss it. I was playing um, Byzantium uh, a month or two ago. Uh, it was good fun. What am I looking for? Um, very sludge? No. Maybe. I think it is very sludge. It's the stuff that doesn't rot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I play E4 quite a lot. It's just uh, I gotta leave it between because it's the longest of the paradoxes. Uh, yeah. It does take some time. 
All right, what do we, ooh, fertilizer would be very appropriate given the rocket. So, um, and I'm not really excited about any of these dupes and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for excitement in the dupes I'm gonna add to the colony at this point. Um, so, worth mentioning, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow some uh, Leafa Company, an extra stream. Tomorrow uh, should be around 11 a.m. Pacific. So whatever time that is and other people's time zones. Uh, so West Coast of the U.S. is 11 a.m. And uh, I'm going to be playing with, uh, I don't know if Marxy is still around, but Marxy and uh, Boxy Blue left earlier. And uh, the Martinator 00, I think it's 19. I could be wrong. Uh, and maybe someone else. I don't know. But we're going to be playing for... Uh, at least a few hours, I think. So, bonus stream. Uh, Hoi is good for one stream, and CK3 is almost as long. Stellaris is my current obsession, though. Yeah, I, I have... Uh, I don't have Hearts of Iron. Any of the Hearts of Irons, or Vic uh, uh, Victoria's. But, um, I do have CK2 and 3, and E4, and, um, I do own Stellaris, too, although none of the DLCs. But I... Uh, I don't know. I play Stellaris for a little bit, like a session, and then I just forget it exists for a while until I see someone playing it on Twitch or on YouTube, and then that crosses my mind to play again, and sometimes it, it brings me in for a little bit, but it just never seems to stick. Um, ambient decor? Sure. I know you need power in this rocket. Power. Uh, right, right, right. So we need to put a thing in the rocket. So the rocket will produce power for us. We just need to hook this up to a wall. And I guess I could really could be any wall here where we have room for this exterior. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I don't. I don't need that there though. What about over here? There we go. So these things need power. We don't actually have to power the refrigerator. It's just so that we have a place to stick this uh, berry sledge that doesn't otherwise um, expire. All the berry sludge. And then we're storing plastic in here for the orbital data collection lab. And um, looks like we're still getting oxygen coming in. So once this is done, though, we'll be able to tear down the uh, gas vent and put in a, a bed. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff swept up. We don't need the mess. Um, but yeah, I'm probably, I think the last few streams I've been streaming for like four hours, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cap this at like a three hour stream. So we'll, uh, we'll go for another, uh, I don't know, actually probably like another 20, 25 minutes. Um, which hopefully will be enough time to launch this rocket. We'll get Steve back up into space. And maybe, uh, ooh, something we could probably look at right now, um, right now is... How far can we go? Oh, we can't see that right now because we probably don't have any oxidizer. Is that the deal? Unreachable storage. What does that mean? Huh, unreachable storage. Dupes, uh, duplicates cannot reach the storage unit. What does that mean? There's ladders here. Uh, they can walk through here and they can get up here. Maybe they need to access it from this side. Huh. Yeah. Uh, so like I was saying earlier, this is this is the like we are 
at the perimeter of my experience with Oxygen Not Included. Um, like, I've played several bases and, like, then the, then I, I did the early game and then, uh, you know, I stopped and did other things and I didn't go back to them multiple times. Because that's the thing I do. Um, but this is the one where, well, I've been streaming it and I've been sticking with it. And, uh, I mean, this is the third rocket, so we have some experience doing things. But what's up with, uh... Must be built, built via rocket platform. Uh -huh. Properties. Unreachable storage. Anyone know what that means? <laughs> Why is it unreachable? Okay, maybe the database will say more. Nope. Okay, let's go back to rocketry then. So what if we look at the petroleum engine? Or, so we are using the large liquid fuel tank. To store petroleum. No, that's not helpful. Petroleum engine says. Yeah, once the engine has been built, more rockets can be added. I mean, one thought is that it's not actually a problem with. Yeah, it still says unreachable storage. So, what if. Pause for a second. What if we move this? Okay, so now it's not complaining about access to the storage, the solid oxidizer tank. Maybe it's an issue of it not being close to the engine. Yeah. Okay, now all of our pipes are wrong, though, which is unfortunate. But uh, not a huge deal to, to fix. Air. Although I think we might be done with uh, loading in air into the interior. 7.2 kilograms per tile. Alright, so now we're going to deconstruct the uh, gas vent. We don't need to put any more oxygen in here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We can also set the hand sanitizer so that it only needs to be used when you're going that way. Let's also assign this to Steve. Well, we're not going to assign to anyone yet. We'll wait until we have everything ready and we'll get Steve loaded in here. Uh, oh, yeah, the refrigerator priority needs to be higher. Set it to priority 9 to make sure the berry sludge gets hauled over here. We got uh, 2872 kilograms of plastic. Should be enough to last for a minute. Interesting. Like, there's a little animation here, but I don't think this is giving us any power. I'm not, I'm not forgetting anything, though, am I? <laughs> so we got the telescope. We got the orbital data collection. We got our food and our plastic. We have uh, a mess hall. Hopefully. Nope. Uh, a mess hall needs to be 12 tiles. So it's not a mess hall. It could be a mess hall. Uh, we need to... So it's eight, we need four more tiles. How are we gonna add four tiles to this? 
So the refrigerator, does that count as industrial machinery? I don't think so. What about the storage bin? Okay. It's a problem. Like, I can't just, like, combine this and own this whole thing is this because this is industrial machinery. Um, we could... I don't... I mean... It... Hmm. This could be a great haul if we had more room, but we need 32 tiles, so that's not going to happen. Uh, but it could be a mess, mess haul. We just get rid of the decor item, which... This is, this is not happy in here anyway, so I might just de deconstruct that. Um, ooh. Here's, here's what I do. I deconstruct this, I move this over one tile, and then I open this tile up. And then we... Hmm, how's that gonna work? <laughs> yeah, so let's deconstruct that as well. Why did, okay. It's it's still queued to be de deconstructed. It's just been can uh, postponed, apparently. See, it's still, but there's no icon here. That might be a bug. <laughs> Getting a lot of gift subs these days. All right, so. How's this gonna work? If we move the water cooler over, it gives us a free tile. Um, oh, I know what to do. I might be able to get away with that. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy the storage bin and put a door here. And we're just gonna launch the rocket before dupes can sweep the plastic out of the rocket. Alright, cool. Uh, so... Is it furniture? <clears throat> nope, plumbing. Maybe. Uh, it's somewhere. Wouldn't be food. Um, speaking of food, if we were trying to really use space we could use a ration box to put some um of the uh berry sludge in or just not have a box at all and do the same thing we're doing with the plastic that could be a thing uh but anyway i'm looking for a thing and not only am i not finding the thing i can't even <laughs> um actually Room overlay? Yeah, we need a recreational building. But recreation is not a category. I think I was looking in furniture before, right? And I was not seeing it? Let's look again. Oh yeah, water cooler. Uh, but I clicked the wrong thing. Water cooler. We can put it right there. And then we're gonna deconstruct the storage bin, put a door, and then open this tile. Dupes will be able to jump over, and that will make this room large enough. 
for it. Uh, so let's unpause and let that deconstruct that tile. Oh yeah, and we can also get rid of that gas pipe and put in the bed, hopefully. Yes, right there. All right, so we have a bedroom. Although, is... Okay, the power outlet fitting, I think, does not count as um, industrial. So if you look here, yep. Well, it's a barracks. Um, to be private bedroom, we need a minimum of 24 tiles. So we don't have 24 tiles, so it can't be a private bedroom. But it could be a luxury barracks for 12 tiles, which this is. But we would need a decor item. Yeah, so we would need a decor item. And then we could get some bonus morale. So let's do that. Um, I so rarely put decor things down. Where, where am I looking? Is that furniture? Pixel pack? <laughs> I don't have glass. I've not bothered to make glass yet. Uh, arrow pots. It's fancy. There we go. Oh yeah, but... Mm, we have diamond. Do I want to spend diamond on this? How much diamond do we have in the world? Mind up. It's kind of snazzy. I guess I could search, huh? T I A M M. Uh, we got like almost a thousand kilograms. Okay, we can part with a little bit for a cool little thing for Steve. Um. Like this right now won't count as a as a room because like all this other stuff is in there. But if we were to deconstruct this and build a door here, things. Um, there we go. I wish there was a way. Is there a way to... Um, hmm. Ooh. I mean, I could move the plastic somewhere and then control access via the door. Uh, it should be fine. Keep on that plastic. Uh, right, so we should have... There we go. Now it's a mess hall. Plus three morale. Uh, and currently a barracks, but if we get this uh, thing built... Hey, you're back. Welcome back. Uh, Goonie. We are this close to getting this rocket out. No docks available. Exosuit was dropped again. Okay. That is fine. No docks available. Okay. Just go ahead and move that. Um, one of the other exosuit stations. I wish there was a good way to get a sense of like where all the dupes were. That'd be nice, huh? Uh, we got a new principal available. Check that out. Uh, larva egg. So we have some slixers.
So we did that before. The issue was that we didn't have a place that was hot enough. And I think, although we have all this carbon dioxide, it's not hot enough down here. Let's check the uh, database. Sixers. So 50C to 140C is comfort, 35 to 160. But it's, uh, it's only 14C here. So what we need to do is we need to move them down probably somewhere down here. 48. It's almost comfortable. Five. I have to get them down there too. Um, I mean, we get them as eggs, right? So we'd be able to just take the eggs down there with a move order. It's probably a good thing. Plus nine medicine, so that's 12 medicine and gourmet. We don't really have a place for the doctors to do doctoring yet, but I guess that's a thing. I think I'll take the, the larva egg. I'll just make sure to select this. Uh, yeah. And... Down. Ooh, there's a geyser of some kind there. <laughs> uh, let's see. So there's carbon dioxide down here, and it's pretty warm, so it looks good. And that is actually reachable. Um, we might have to start making transit tubes. I know I've talked about that a couple times, but I feel like it's... We are making plastic. We have petroleum. Oh, yeah. So a thing that we could do now that we are making petroleum is we could, um, I mean, we have our um, slick. We, we had, what happens here? We, we had our Drekos. What happened to the Drekos? <laughs> Um, well, it's all hydrogen. Huh. How'd that happen? Okay, well, that's a problem. <clears throat> well, anyway, one thing at a time. Uh, let's get this other and one more. Do I have, um... Aha! Hotkeys. I don't suppose I have, like, a shift two? Ha 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 Past me did something right. Alright. So. Um, right. So if we're producing petroleum, maybe a thing we could do next stream is... Make some plastic with that petroleum. But uh, I have just a few minutes left for today. So I want to uh, get this, this whole rocket thing going. Uh, so let's check in on that. Uh, let's prioritize this. Maybe we can get this done. Is there a dupe? Ruby is working on it. Ruby is bringing the diamond. Sorry, I'm still getting in position. No worries. Um, so, of course, all of this is... Um, I do record VODs on YouTube. So, there is that. And then I do... Um, oh, sorry, I meant to say the VODs are recorded on Twitch. That they stick around for a period of time. And then um, I do also upload the video from this... It takes me like a week to get around to it, but I give them over to YouTube as well. Alright, cool. So let's plant the seed. 
Party nine. Oh wait. Joy is gonna be a problem, isn't it? No, it should be fine. Oh, it's too cold. It's too cold here. Okay, but... I mean, we do have the decor item. There we go. Luxury barracks. Awesome. Um, I will, before I end the stream, also run the command to like have the link to the, the YouTube channel. But, uh, yeah. So, we have everything in place that I think we need. We have water in the tank. We have oxygen in the background. We are going to change crew. We're going to set... Oh, looks like Amari is sick. Uh, set Steve here as the pilot. We're going to set the uh, destination. Look at that. Ten tiles. We can go ten tiles. Uh, where are we going to go? Let's go this way. I think there was an artifact there as well. So check out that direction. Um, we will have power. We will have a mess of table assigned to Steve. Here we go. We'll have a bed also assigned to Steve. And uh, we will put this into crew only. Everyone else can get out. All right. So, let's go back out here. We're going to launch this rocket. Which is good, we got just a few minutes left for the stream today. Um, we're gonna hope that it's not gonna be a meteorite shower here <laughs> soon. Uh, flip the switch. So what happens with the uh, regolith that's sitting on top of that? Honestly don't know. Okay, that's what happens. Uh, cheers for having me today. Hey, uh, glad you could hang out. Uh, I'd be lonely if it was just me. <laughs> Talking to myself. Um, let's up the priority of these digs to get this stuff all done. Go, go, go. Alright, so that's quite an improvement, right? Because our last rocket, we had a range of like, was it three or five? You still here uh, lurking while playing Valheim? Well, hey, Death Row Gamer. Thanks for lurking. I'm a bit of a, a unit in the head. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Death Row Gamer's uh, very. Um, Aggressively postured Santa emote is there, looking at us. Uh, what's entombed? Oh yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll take that out. We we were kind of uh, <laughs> over eager here. We got two launch bays here. Where is Steve? Is Steve inside? Let's check the checklist. So we got a launch checklist. <laughs> Clear launch path. Fuel tank, oxidizer tank, height limit, destination set, no active construction, engine, nose cone, all launch pad, fueled, uh, sufficient oxidizer, cargo transfer complete, pilot boarded, all crew boarded, non crew exited. So we are ready to launch. Uh, so we're going to do it. Are we ready for this? Uh, Alt S, there we go. Here we go. And it's gone. <laughs> All right. So if we go over to the star map, there's a rocket. View interior. And here's Steve doing his thing. Uh, let's change Steve's schedule. We have a dedicated schedule for our rocket. So we'll put Steve on that schedule. There he is. Um, just so we know exactly what his schedule is. We can also assign the table to Steve. I thought I did that before, but I think it maybe unassigned itself. There we go. Uh, Lol, you remind me of the bank guy on South Park when he said, and it's gone. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm full of memes. 
<laughs> uh, me and a friend, uh, maybe less so these days, but we used to trade those back and forth so much that it's just like, it's embedded in my head, right? I feel like sometimes half of what I say is a reference to some, some, <laughs> some something. Yeah, that was the uh, the Margaritaville episode, yeah? Alright. Uh, oh yeah, so let's let's make data banks forever. So each data bank takes 33 seconds and takes 5 kilograms of plastic, and we got 2,850 kilograms. So we, we can make uh, over 500. <laughs> over 500 data banks, which, which should be good. Um, and Steve here has... Oh, sure, he has a full bladder, but he can he can reach this, right? He's going, he's going there, um, and we're using the exploit because I can't be bothered to worry about oxygen over nine thousand. Yeah. Uh, if only. Yeah, success, Steve. You did it. All right. So. Uh, I, I don't know if I could go watch uh, uh, DBZ again, but uh, maybe DBZ uh, abridged. <laughs> it's a goodie. I haven't watched that through in a while. But the question is, is it is it over 9,000 or over 8,000? Did like two episodes of GT. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really remember that one. <laughs> it's uh, over. It's ogre nine meowsand. Uh, Wait, well, why? Why is there a shovel here? I saw you before the autosave. Where'd he go? It's burrowing somewhere. So, not only are my shovels escaping now, I have obsidian tiles here, so they shouldn't escape. Um, but I have no more. Drekos either. They've escaped. Wrangle this guy. We have hip squeaks. At one point we had uh, cuddle hips. I could have sworn, but they've disappeared too. So it's uh, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, there's a pip there. Hip squeak there. I don't know. Well, we're, we're working through it. Working through it. 